Got an email today from uh, David Pakman show viewer Jeffrey Levin. Okay, I want to get your reaction to this, Lewis, because I I had one reaction initially, and I'm I, I won't say, I'll hold back uh, my analysis and let you comment first. So here's the a, a letter I got from Jeffrey. Today I was commuting home from San Francisco on the Caltrain. Person sitting across from me on the train had a shirt and a backpack, and it was embroidered with his company's logo. What was disconcerting wasn't the shirt, but the backpack. The gentleman sitting across from me works at kabam.com, K-A-B-A-M. Their logo is a bomb with a fuse. So I kept staring at this backpack with a picture of a bomb with a, with a, lit, with a light fuse, uh, a lit fuse, and the words kabam embroidered in bright orange. Fortunately, I could tell the bag was mostly empty, certainly didn't contain anything inside like a pressure cooker. But still, in the aftermath of the Boston Marathon bombing for his company to give employees embroidered bags with a bomb and the company name Kabam seems in really poor taste. What's your reaction, Lewis? I would agree that it's in poor taste, but from the company's point of view, it's probably great because it's recognizable and he remembered it. And here we are talking about it. So for them, it probably works wonderfully. Well, the, the other issue is I, I understand kind of what Jeffrey is saying, but it's very unlikely that this was printed after the Boston Marathon bombing. And to that extent, it's more really a judgment call, not on the company's behalf. The idea of bombs and backpacks has only recently been as present in American minds because of what happened in the Boston Marathon. This could be a couple year old backpack. So I think it's more the judgment of the person using the backpack saying, hey, is this going to look weird if I'm on a train with a bomb? Uh, embroidered onto my backpack than it is about the company, in my view. Yeah, you're probably right there. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't call the company immoral for doing this, but you are going to attract some attention to yourself when when wearing this stuff. Send me your thoughts. What's your thought on the bomb backpack that Jeffrey Levin saw? If you have any other questions like this you want us to address on the show, of course, feel free to send them. I do not believe the company is to blame for anything in this particular case. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about a lot more stuff, including your voicemails. Glad you're with us today. DavidPakman.com, podcast, audio and video archives, membership, interviews, all of that stuff. Back after this.